Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. There you have it. Breaking overnight, the United States takes a huge step in sending humans back to the moon with a historic liftoff. Yeah, CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola. She's live at the Kennedy, Kennedy Space Center this morning with reaction to the launch. And Gabby, I know this is your, your first launch. Mm -hmm. I have to say, in my opinion, nighttime launches are the most spectacular. spectacular. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it really was something to see, Keith. It was so dark. I mean, you were out in the middle of the water. It was complete darkness. And all of a sudden, you see the whole sky light up. It felt like it was two o'clock in the afternoons. It was just so beautiful to see. I mean, Artemis has already broken many records, but there's a lot more work that this spacecraft needs to do. So Artemis sent out a small capsule called Orion. Orion will now start a 25 day journey around the moon and back. It's about a cool 1.2 million mile trip, no biggie. But the spacecraft itself was massive. At a staggering 32 stories tall, it took $4 billion to build. Now there aren't any astronauts on board just yet. The goal for this mission was just to collect data from the moon to one day put astronauts not just back onto the moon but also to Mars. Onlookers tell me this was an experience of a lifetime. It's awesome. There, there's no there's no words for it because it's yeah it's something cool to see but the um, when you start to feel it and hear it the ground shakes and everything like that it's 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 back to the old shuttle days. Mm. So now with this successful launch Artemis became the most powerful rocket that is operational. Guys. So Gabby, I've never experienced a launch in person, neither has Keith. I want to know, what did you feel like? What did, what did you feel once that rocket just lifted off? Well, first of all, really, Mirabelle, it was the anticipation. Mm. I mean, we were expecting it to launch at around 102, 104. It really didn't happen until about 45 minutes later. And you just saw like a little white speckle and everyone was just so excited. They were counting it down mm -hmm. by the second. And then the moment it lifted off, it was just so beautiful to see. Everyone was just ooing and aahing. It almost looked like a like a firework that didn't end. It was beautiful.